Hello everyone, today we are talking about XRP. And XRP in this scenario in cryptocurrency is the red pill in my opinion. Whether that be 500, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million XRP because we are entering a financial reset. We are moving into a new financial system. These utility based cryptocurrencies are involved with different sectors and different problems that they solve. And not only that, we're entering a great reset, a new world order, quotation marks, not uh, not mine, their words, not mine. Here we have BlackRock 2023 Global Outlook going forward. Page 11, we can see here. A new world order. We have entered into a new world order. World Economic Forum, back in 2015, what is the feature of the world order? We can see a new world order is almost certain to emerge in very, very soon. I am personally betting on the infrastructure involved with the financial reset, the financial system. And XRP is doing that, especially when it comes to being the rails for CBDCs. And I really suggest in your own time, look at these articles by the World Economic Forum. You know, you've heard the saying, you will own nothing and be happy, but it's mainly because someone's told you about it, or you've seen it on Twitter or another app. You never actually went onto the article for yourself. And what they're writing in some of these articles is insane. It's almost like these cartoons where a superhero is tied up to a chair and the villain is saying his whole plan before he's even done it. And obviously the villain loses. Maybe not in this scenario. But in a scenario where the world economic form, they don't get their way, XRP still exists and still has massive utility. I'm invested for that utility. And that's what we're talking about in today's video. ODL, cross-border payments, the case, everything involved. A lot of value. Stay around to the end of the video. But further ado, here we go. Go. Okay, so the first piece of info we have here is by Payments Canada. Rebound and grow. Canadian payment methods and trends report 2022. I will leave this down below, but here we have on page 43, advancing cross-border payments. So the global volume for cross-border payments is estimated to be above $150 trillion and continues to grow as use cases for cross-border payments evolve. Here we can see down below Ripple being mentioned. So in 2022, CIBC, one of the large providers of cross-border payments in Canada, announced they would partner with Ripple and leverage Ripple's blockchain-based solution for cross-border payments. It is reference to this article here, Ripple Array of Partners Expand as CIBC, NAB, join RippleNet. This is huge, right? Because this is one of the main banks in Canada. And you know how the story goes. You either join in or you get left behind. They're going to join in for a competitive edge. You saw... You know, the Bank of America is supposedly saying that after the lawsuit, Ripple versus SEC, they're going to um, take advantage of Ripple's ODL to get a competitive advantage. That is what CIBC has in mind. Also, here we have on-demand liquidity for corporate enterprises, treasury management, the old is um, traditional finance, the old is legacy payments. This is a new. And if some would take off their tunnel vision when it comes to the case, maybe turn a little bit to the left or the right, see the actual progress that has been made with the ODL behind the scenes, they might feel a little bit more hopeful for the future. But obviously it's understandable. And even in terms of the ODL in the US, it is an untapped market due to the lack of regulatory clarity. We also talked about in a video two days ago, why is the price of XRP not moving with the ODL? And it simply comes back to basic economics, supply and demand. There's not enough volume um, there, right? So, for example, utilization of the ODL with IREM at their annual volume is $2 billion. When it comes to some of these central banks, these clients involved with wholesale payments, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars per day. If you want to know more in detail, especially when it comes to market making about that whole process, definitely go and check out that video there. XRP is gold, XM is silver, and XC is copper. I will leave it in the top right for you to click up there. Also, we need to talk about this. I didn't even talk about this on the channel because I just know it's baloney. I didn't even buy into it, but I got to play the clip for everyone to catch up. Uh, I would believe that then Ethereum and Bitcoin would also be securities and they'd be in a, a bigger debacle. And this problem with regulations through enforcement, you know, there's not much you can do. Um, just any given Sunday, it's whoever the regulator decides to pick. And then there's a big fight. $100 million is spent. It's brutal and vicious and you know, a lot of hard feelings and sometimes people win, sometimes people don't. I've heard rumors that the Ripple case will be settled December 15th and we'll just see. And that could have catastrophic implications for the industry. And this was the information that was about the case in the 15th. This is a settlement. I must have got it translated wrong, but here is Attorney Rodrigo Sierra has filed a motion to appear 
Prohack Vice on behalf of Amicus Qeri, if that's how you pronounce it, Paradigm Operations LP. And this has to do with the Amicus brief that was filed before. And now let's go back to the title of the video. So, Red Pill and Blue Pill. The terms Red Pill and Blue Pill refer to the choice between the willingness to learn a potentially unsettling or life-changing truth by taking the red pill or remain in contented ignorance with the blue pill. The blue pill, in my opinion, would probably be an asset that has no, no utility to do with nothing towards a new financial system and just ignoring the situation that's occurring. Not realizing what's coming forward, realizing what projects are involved with what you could consider evil are CBDCs. Um, obviously, the technology itself is pure, it's people that have bad intentions and people that are actually bad, but realize the XRP is involved with CBDCs. A lot of people say as well, well, they actually don't want XRP. They want to use XRP for their CBDCs. So they want to issue their CBDCs on the XRP ledger, but realize when two um, CBDCs are transferring value, they'll be using XRP so it was involved nonetheless. Also realizing, in the end, XRP has value beyond all of this, beyond cross-border payments, when it comes to just transferring value, DeFi, NFTs, soon smart contracts on federated sidechains. So much value for XRP, but if this comes into fruition, XRP still has value. That is a point that I'm trying to make. Maybe this is all conspiracy theory. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm delusional. Who knows? But nonetheless, XRP has value. It's far Please leave a like down below and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.